Hi, I'm Angel Chavez, Director of Shop Training. The Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance, or CVSA, will be conducting road check during June 4th and 6th. During this three-day period, DOT officers, or Commercial Vehicle Safety Certified Inspectors, will be conducting a standard level one 37 point inspection. The DOT officers will spend a little bit extra time focusing on steering and suspension components. While your unit is in the shop for standard preventative maintenance service, we will conduct our usual DOT inspection and ensure all the vehicle is ready for these inspections. However, we're asking our driver associates to spend a little bit extra time during their routine pre-trip walk around to look at these specific items just a little bit more carefully. We're asking you to look specifically at our steering and, and suspension components. One of the things that you can do to help us with this inspection is to, first of all, identify any noticeable signs of issues with steering or suspension. So if you're driving down the road and you feel any kind of pull into one direction, swaying, or any kind of knocking or bumping in the steering wheel, the other thing you look for is while you're turning your steering wheel, if you feel any binding or, or hear any squealing or feel any knocking, that's a good indication that there's something wrong with your steering system. So if you feel any of these, get with your shop and let us know so that we can inspect the system. All right, when inspecting the steering components, this is what we want to look for. Start out with the power steering system. Make sure that the caps are tight, the reservoir fluid level is good, make sure it is secure, and there's no evidence of leaking on any of the hoses. Then we want to move into the steering shaft, make sure that the bolts are all in place and secure, make sure that you don't feel any looseness. Then look into the uh, gearbox, we want to make sure that there's no evidence of leaking on the seals on both the input and the output, no evidence of oil leaking down. Then grab your steer arm, make sure that it is tight and secured, bolts are secure. Then you can move into your drag link, make sure that that is in place. Look for your bolts and cotter pins, make sure that they're in place. Then look at your upper steering arms, your lower steering arms. Take a look at all the steering nuts just to make sure it's tight as well. All right, one of the things that DOT officers will be checking is uneven tire wear. So I don't expect everyone to have a 30 second gauge on them, but you can take a simple pen or a pocket screwdriver and check the tread depth to make sure that it's even. So just simply put it in, hold your fingernail there, and then go to the other side and check and just make sure that they're reasonably close. We also want you to pay attention to any of your suspension components. So take a look at your spring hangers, look for the bolts, look at your leaf springs, make sure that there's nothing shifted or breaks or, breaks or cracks, and then take a look at your U-bolts, make sure that they're in place and they're not shifted, and if you can, just take a quick look and make sure that all the nuts are, are in place. Then come back to your shocks, make sure that that is tight, you don't see any leaks, all the nuts and fasteners are in place and you see nothing uh, loose. When checking your rear suspension, take a look at your spring hangers, make sure that they're uh, in place, bushings are in place, bolts are tight. Then come along, take, inspect your leaf springs and make sure that they are good. Take a look at your U-bolts. Again, you want to make sure they're in place, not misaligned. And then take a look at your shocks, make sure the bolts are in place, bushings are good, and nothing is loose. And then come back and take a look at your, your air springs and make sure that they're in place. Make sure your airbags are intact, not misaligned or crooked. One of the things that they will be looking for is your steering wheel lash. So on a standard 18 inch steering wheel, you should have no more than two and a quarter inches of play. Generally what you want to do is start the truck and then fill the, fill the steering wheel at the point that it grabs the wheels from when you turn it left into right. So simply take your finger, hold a reference point at one of the spokes and just simply fill it until you feel the uh, wheel grab. And generally, uh, the steering wheels have about a half inch play. Now, DOT says no more than two and a quarter inches for a standard 18 inch steering wheel. When inspecting the trailer suspension, what you want to look for is make sure that the slider rails are all good, hang, uh, the hooks are in place, pins are locking, and then come down and take a look at the hangers, make sure that you don't see any cracks, all the fasteners are in place. And then when you're underneath checking out the uh, check out the spring hangers, make sure that nothing is shifted, you don't see any cracks, and just check to make sure that the U-bolts are in place and not shifted, and you can see all the bolts are physically secured.